today I have yet another example of how you can find slightly used cowboy boots on secondhand marketplaces and bring them back to life. Today I'm featuring these beautiful Tony Llama 6915 boots that I got from shopgoodwill.com. So let's clean these up and go through the details. Let's get into it. I'm just here to connect ya and then I'll be on my way. Hey everybody, my name is Jeremiah Craig. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, please subscribe and always like and comment down below. My buddy Jim Collins gave me the heads up on these Tony Llama boots that were available on shopgoodwill.com. So shout out to Jim. Thank you so much for sending me the link of these. These are my true size of a 12B. And when I saw them, I fell in love with them pretty much immediately. I noticed they had toe tips too, which is very unlike any other boots that I've had. So I put in a bid of $13, won them for so cheap. And when they arrived, I noticed that the toe tips had some corrosion. The boots were pretty dirty and needed to be freshened up a little bit, made a little bit more lively. So what I did was I took the toe tips off with a screwdriver and what I found underneath the sink was that we had some Tarnex here. I didn't go out of my way to find anything new. I just used what I had and it seemed to do the trick just fine. Followed the instructions on the bottle and was able to shine these up really nicely. Then it was time to focus my attention to the boots. So I noticed some corrosion, some green spots on the toe from where the toe tips had been connected. So I was kind of worried that that wouldn't come off, but with some saddle soap and a little bit more elbow grease, it came off no problem. Then I used some Saphir Renovator. I absolutely love this stuff. It works great and makes boots so lively and conditions them as well. But in addition to that, I wanted to use some white shoe polish that I had. Uh, it's from Kiwi and it's been in my kit for a very long time, hadn't used it in forever. And this was a perfect time to use it. Now these boots are kind of grayish, but they were also kind of dirty too and stained. So I wanted to bring out a little bit more color, make them a little bit more lively. And that white polish did just the trick. And then I finished it off with some edge dressing to give the heel and sole edge a nice shine. Then I connected the toe tips again, screwed them back on to the toes and wow, what stunner of boots do I have here. Again, huge thanks to Jim Collins for giving me the heads up on this because these are fancy. These are stunner boots now with that toe tips. And I'm really looking forward to wearing these out and about this year, but let's break down the details of this boot now with the rundown. Yes, this is the Tony Llama 6915 and it features a bull hide or a cow hide foot and counter. And the color of that is a gray or maybe a bone color now that I use that white shoe polish. They also have an R toe medium round with aftermarket toe tips installed by the previous owner. Down here for a heel, we have a one and a half inch stacked leather heel. It comes in at 14 inches tall and features a navy blue leather top with some gorgeous stitch patterns as well. For an outsole, it's a leather outsole and this is the original outsole. You can tell because it has lemon wood pegs and brass nails alongside the shank, but another good hint to this being the original outsole is that it also has the original heel cap with the Tony Llama brand stamped in that rubber heel cap. I love the fact that you can find boots that are only slightly used like this on the secondhand marketplace with the original outsole and original heel cap. I'm telling you guys, your money can go so far if you keep an eye out for boots like this and the details in how used a boot is, is all in the outsole and the heel cap. So keep an eye open on eBay, Facebook Marketplace, shopgoodwill.com for boots that look like this on the outsole. You can get an incredible deal. On the inside, it's lined with cowhide leather on the top and around the foot. It feels incredible. And with this being a traditionally made boot, you have a traditional hard leather insole 
down here as well. This Tony Lama was made back in the golden age of cowboy boots right here in the USA. And like I said, I won these with a bid of $13 at shopgoodwill.com. But after shipping and handling, it came out to be $26.43. Now let's try on these boots to see how they look and feel. All right, I got on the Tony Lama 6915 boots right now, and they feel great. This is one of the best values of trying to get boots secondhand is that you can find narrow widths. Guys, I'm a 12B. This is my true size of a 12B. So it's a narrow width. That's the great thing about some of these secondhand marketplaces is you can find several different widths that the industry nowadays just doesn't carry because they're cheap. So if you're looking for boots that fit right, maybe go to the secondhand marketplace to get your true size because you can get really great value boots for under your budget all the time. It's incredible what you find on these secondhand marketplaces. I mean, just look at these. These fit great and the proper width size always matters most at the arch of the foot. So I'm getting some great arch support on these Tony Llamas. Sometimes with the secondhand marketplace, you'll get the impression of the previous owner's foot in the hard leather insole. These ones don't have that nearly as much, if at all. I'm not sensing anything really. So these weren't really worn that much by the previous owner. It seems like they got them, maybe added those toe tips to make them a little bit more fancy to encourage them to wear them a little bit more. And maybe they just never wore them. I mean, uh, it is kind of a flashy look, right? With those toe tips especially, but this color gets attention. And whew, I'm, I'm here for it. I'm here for it. I'm looking forward to wearing these around on nice days because I won't want to stain them or anything. It is a little bit taller of a boot at 14 inches tall, but still in a nice, a nice range, excuse me. Let's pull over those jeans and see what they look like just wearing them normal. <clears throat> I'm really liking this color. Um, very different from anything else that I have. The leather is really supple and feels really nice. Wow. Looking forward to wearing these around quite a bit, especially in the summertime when it's not quite as muddy out. Right now it's the winter time, there's lots of mud, and if not, it's gonna get salty. So these would get stained up so easy if I wore them on a regular basis here in the winter, but definitely looking forward to wearing them in the summertime especially. Here's the POV. You can see those toe tips, the color. Might've went a little heavy on the shoe polish on this left boot, kind of stained the toe bug a little bit more on this here, but uh, we'll see how it settles in and if it doesn't kind of fade away after, I don't know, a couple weeks, then I'll just apply more polish to this boot right here. Not really that big of a deal, but just something that I noticed. Good look. I'm super happy with this score from Shop Goodwill. I mean, these boots at less than $30 with shipping and handling. Are you kidding me? I'm here for it. And these are completely different than anything else that I have in my collection currently. So this is the example that I talk about so often on this channel. Slightly used boots are an incredible deal, right? This leather outsole is still the original leather outsole. This heel cap is still original. The impression of the previous owner's foot isn't even on the inside of this boot. This is basically brand new. They just sat in somebody's closet, corroded a little bit on these boot tips here, and got a little bit discolored from just not being worn around or being worn around in some dirty weather here and there. So the fact that these exist out in the world is just incredible. You guys can find great deals on Shop Goodwill, eBay, Facebook Marketplace, Poshmark. So many places have slightly used boots at incredible prices. So the fact that I was able to win these for $13 bid, $26 shipped to my door. Of course, it took a few hours to clean them up to the point that they look like this, but I mean, it's totally worth it, especially if you guys are on a budget. Super happy with this. Huge thanks again to Jim Collins for giving me the heads up on this. He sent me a link. He said, hey, found these and thought of you. 
and I put my bid in immediately. So love these boots, love how they turned out with that white shoe polish, making them a little bit more lively, sort of doubling down on the unordinary color of these. They're gonna get attention anyways, so why not make them a little bit more bright? And I'm here for it. This is my first experience with boot tips. I never installed them on any of my other boots before, these little toe tips here. So I was happy to see that uh, it was pretty much straightforward in taking them off and putting them back on and cleaning them. It's right in line with everything that you would expect. So I was kind of afraid that uh, I might mess them up, but hey, they turned out really nice. And let me know what you guys think of this boot, this score and everything else down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching today. Let me know if you guys have any scores recently down in the comments as well and what uh, the price ended up being if you don't mind sharing because some of these deals out there that you guys are finding are stellar, just next level finds. Let me know down in the comments. Love you guys so much and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. Yeah, those Tonys clean up well. Now it's so hard to tell that those boot tips were rusty. That fancy as hell. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching today. Why don't you check out this other shop Goodwill score up here? Or I got a music video down here I think you might enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe up here and I will see you next time. Peace. Have a good one.